So today we ran a regional integrated science forum for the Paddock to Reef program, focusing predominantly on the grazing industry and the burdock and catchment. And we brought together many of the organisations and the scientists that are involved in that program to talk about the sediment issues in the Burdekin and the impact on water quality and the Great Barrier Reef and explain what they do and how it all fits together and eventually how all that information is put together into a, a reef report card. We use water quality modelling um, to report on the progress towards the water quality targets for the Great Barrier Reef. Modelling is really important because Modelling enables us to untangle all of the factors that might affect water quality. So land use might be a factor, climate, land management practices, all of these things contribute to water quality in the river system. All data is useful to us in our models, whether that's catchment scale water quality monitoring or whether that's a paddock scale trial or even a rainfall simulation trial. All of that's really important to the model because we're able to go to a point in the model and say, is this close to what we're getting what we're measuring in the field. So the more data we get, the more informed our models can be and the more confident in the results people can be. So the baseline is effectively a line in the sand where we can say, at this point in time, we are going to say that this proportion of the land is managed using a particular practice. So that may be through hill slope, stream bank or gully management practices. We are then able to report on the progress from that benchmark. So we need to effectively have a starting point to measure from. And that benchmark is currently made up of a huge number of one-on-one -on -one surveys with landholders. We also use projects that have been reported to us over the years and they go into that benchmark. And any other data that we can get our hands on, we are keen to include in that benchmark. Today's forum for me has been really useful because it brings together all the different components of the Paddock to Reef program. When we have the ability to get all the experts in a room, you can get a really good picture and a really good understanding of the Paddock to Reef program, why people are doing what they're doing, why are they collecting the practice data, where that data goes. One of the most popular questions I get uh, in the Upper Burdekin region, especially in those far away areas, uh, up around Mount Garnet uh, through to the Hewenden area, uh, a lot of people do ask the question, how does my practice changes in this area possibly have any effect on the reef? Which does make logical sense being four or 500 kilometres away from the mouth of the Burdekin. Um, and opportunities like today are really beneficial because we get to actually see the science and see how those effects do happen. And then we're able to pass that information on to the landowners.